Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I saw this available for download on Steam for about 11 or 12 dollars. And it's been probably about seven years since I've last played this. So I figured, hell, why not? It said it was all updated for modern computers, which I assume pretty much just means it'll run on Windows 7. And, uh, yeah, it might might be a little polished up, but I'm pretty sure it's basically the same game. Same game that I played on PlayStation 1 way back in the day. Ah, love that music. Alright, let's go. So, yeah, as I mentioned, this is the PC version. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, went ahead and tested it, and it works, so let's play it! I felt like playing it, and I figured, why not record it, too? But, as I said, it's been a while, so... Feel free to, you know, leave comments saying, Hey, don't forget to grab this, or do that, or whatever, in upcoming parts and stuff, because it's been a while. I used to know this game like the back of my hand, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Time has ravaged my memory. Great game, though. One of my favorites. Save. City. Incredible. And yeah, I remember playing this back when it first came out. Holiday season, I guess. <laughs> Sometime around then. And just being blown away. Um... This was one of the games that made me a, a Sony guy. This, Metal Gear... And I don't remember playing it all that much, but I remember Siphon Filter being pretty badass. I don't know. It's been a while. Come on, newcomer, follow me! So, when I was... I, I've already been through this part, uh, was when I was running my tests for the capture and stuff, but... Uh, this first guy has a potion, and normally you fight some guys coming up and then you grab a potion off that other guard down the other end of the train. But, that guy has two potions on him. And I don't remember that from the PlayStation version. Maybe I'm mistaken. Mistook. I don't know. But yeah, if any of you know, please drop me a line. And actually, also, ever since, uh, I think the second one is when they introduced Active Time Battle. And, uh, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it. So, I'm oh, gonna go ahead and switch that to wait right now. To get that out of the way. Oh, wrong button. And yeah, this guy doesn't have a potion on him down here. Weird. So yeah, either my memory is just that bad, or some things might be a little different in the PC version. I really don't know. Wow, you used to be a, a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? 
He was in Soldier, Jesse. But he quit. He's with us now. I didn't catch your name. And yeah, we we could go with uh, with a silly name or something, but just to spare us any confusion, we keep them in the originals. Cloud, Cloud, huh? I'm. Uh, I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell y'all doing? Thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Oh man, we're gonna race chocobos and go snowboarding. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. This is gonna be great. We keep him as Barrett. And yeah. Teaches us how to run. Character's still all blocky, but kinda looks a little smoother, I guess. Sorta. Whoa. And our first battle. Or no, it's not. <laughs> our second battle. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Let's get these guys. So yeah, um, when it comes to grinding and stuff like that, um, I don't know if you guys want to watch it or not, uh, give me your input, um, you know, maybe I'll do it off screen, maybe I'll include it if I actually have something to say, but let me know what you think. Yo, is this your first time in a reactor? No, af no after all I did work for Shinra, you know. The plan is full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet. But Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. And we got our first party member. Level 6. and But he still has the same amount of health as us. So... That's cool. That's cool. Oh, damn it! <laughs> the buttons are not like they are on the PlayStation version. So. That's my excuse for when I hit the wrong buttons. Pull up the menus over and over again accidentally. Yeah, we just picked up a phoenix down, by the way. Um, it's an item you can use either in the battle or in the overhead view from your item screen. And it revives a downed opponent. Or, no, it revives a downed ally, rather. Little by little, the reactors drain out. <laughs> drain out all the life. And that'll be that. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It's not my problem. The plan is dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Oh, you crazy cracker. Whoa. <laughs> Wonder if that. <laughs> no, never mind. Not gonna make a joke about having a large black man inside of you. Let's go! Oh! Here we go! Can we take him out? Sweet. 
Huh. Is that fanfare a little different, or is it just me? Weird. Push the OK button in front of the ladder to grab onto it, then use the directional button to climb up and down. Thanks, Jesse. this? Uh-oh. It's a fight! Enemy sighted. Yeah, we're going into bomb a reactor? What? That's not good. But, you know, I got to get paid. And here we have our first save point. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and grab a quick save. Slots. Oh, right into battle. I'm gonna try taking that thing out first. I'm not really sure who does more damage, but wow, 22. Probably could have gone for those guys. Yep. Yep. Well. Damn. Probably would have been a good idea to take these guys out uh, just for the mere fact that they're in the front row. And because they're in the front row, they can do more damage. Or they can do full damage as opposed to more range damage. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 7. Sunk many, 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 many hours into this game. And, uh, yeah, this is probably going to be a pretty long running series. So, uh, hunker in, and we're going to do this. Reactor. Uh, I think we got a. Well, I know we have boss fight. Boss fight coming up. Checking out my health. Yeah. Might as well use a potion. Why not? And we got our. Damn it! <laughs> got our first piece of materia. Receive restore materia. So that's uh, that's a cure materia. It'll restore hit points. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Uh, shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Somebody said I bust the bomb. Whoa! Whoa, dude. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. Whoa, dude, everything go all red for you, too? 
What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry up. Yeah, sorry. Bleep, bleep, bloop, blurp. Uh oh. What's that noise? Heads up, here it comes. Yeah, we have our first boss encounter. Giant crab scorpion thing. Yeah, I guess it's more scorpion than crab. Alright. And uh, because it's robotic, mechanical, use some lightning on him. Yeah. Now, after this attack, whoever gets hit is probably going to have a limit. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, alright. So, limit is uh, ultra super powerful uh, one time attack every time you get hit so many times, or there's a different setting you could switch it to. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember exactly how that works. But, let's hit this guy with another bolt. I think you can switch it from, you can switch your limit build to uh, either whenever you deal damage or when you receive damage. I think that's how it works. So, I don't know, maybe in the future we will mess around with that and see what we can do. But right now, be careful, Barrett, be careful, attack while his tail's up. He's gonna counterattack with his laser. So, uh, yeah, right now we probably could be using a potion on Barrett. Yeah, why not? Nah, screw it. I'll save it. Uh, I'll just put him in defend. Put them both in defend, and we will wait for his tail to go down. Like so. And yeah, if we would have attacked him right there, uh, he would have hit both of our characters for, I don't know, maybe 100 points, maybe 80 some. Not good though. It's not a good situation. Should be done pretty soon here. Barrett's just taking a beating. Cloud's been so close to his limit. I thought that would have done it. I think this. If Barrett doesn't get him, this bolt will. There you go. Yeah, I don't know, that, that fanfare sounds a little off or something. Hey, and we both level up. And we got a, another weapon for Barrett. But, come on, let's get out of here. 